Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host, Dave, and I can smell it cooking in the kitchen. We've got a little bit of shrimp aglio pasta with a little bit of spinach, and it's the perfect opportunity to talk about a wine that pairs beautifully with seafood. And this is a wine that's a little bit confusing. It's a wine called Gavi, but sometimes we see it called Gavi de Gavi. And think about it, when we talk about Italian wines, the D-I means from, so it's Gavi from Gavi. It really is quite confusing. But this comes from the province of Alessandria in Piedmont, so that's in northern Italy, but it's the southern part of Piedmont, right by the Ligurian border. And it comes from the commune of Gavi. So when we hear Gavi de Gavi, it's the wine Gavi from the town Gavi. Now to make it even more confusing, Gavi is not made from a grape called Gavi. It's made from a grape called Cortesi. Cortesi is the grape that produces the wine Gavi. And it's a beautiful little grape. It's native to that area. And the first time we ever heard Cortesi mentioned in Italian viticulture, it was way back in the early 1600s. So this is an ancient varietal native to that region, and it really brings on the flavor of that region. Now, wines that are made from the Cortesi grape produce uh, a result that's moderately acidic with beautiful tropical fruit flavors. So remember when I was talking about smelling the shrimp coming out of the kitchen? This is going to be the perfect wine for that type of meal. Now, Cortesi plantings in or around that commune of Gavi are very, very small, just 4,120 acres total in that area. And it really doesn't grow in other parts of the world. We don't hear Cortesi coming from Chile or Argentina or California. It really just is in that one little stripe at the southern part of Piedmont, right on the Ligurian border. Now this wine, as you notice, does have a DOCG designation. That's Italy, Italy's highest level of quality. It got its DOC level in 1974 and its DOCG level in 1998. So it's reached the peak of Italian wine quality ratings. So this particular wine that I have for you today comes to us from Vita Colte. And Vita Colte makes a Gavi, and then down below it says De Gavi. So Gavi wine from the town of Gavi. Remember, made from a grape called Cortesi. So let's see what exactly we can expect if we go to a wine store and we decide to buy a Gavi. Maybe we're pairing it with a beautiful seafood meal. What do we expect in the glass? Well, the first thing that we notice is that the wine has a nice golden color. We can see that it's certainly going to be a little bit more rich. The color's not quite straw, but a little more on the golden side. And if we swirl to liberate some of the aromas, what comes out of the glass is something a little bit spicy. I almost get like a ginger and jasmine with a little bit of honeysuckle. Um, and a little bit of tropical fruits on the nose as well. Let's go ahead and taste it and see what we think. The first thing that we notice from a Gavi de Gavi is the weight of the wine. This wine has a little bit more glycerin in the grapes, so therefore it's a heavier wine. So when we think about seafood dishes with a lot of butter or olive oil, we need a wine that can also stand up to that, but also a wine with a good amount of acidity. So the first thing I noticed when I passed it across my palate was the weight of the wine. It was heavier, it lingered on the palate a little bit more, but also it was lifted by a beautiful stripe of acidity. And then as I started to feel those fruit flavors, that ginger that we were smelling come back. It came back with a little bit of that jasmine. Then I got a little bit of pineapple, uh, a little bit almost a, a guava strike to it as well. Very tropical in its fruit persona and it will be perfect with seafood dishes. So Piedmont itself um, is in northern Italy but Liguria is the province that actually has uh, the famous five towns, the five fishing, fishing villages called Cinque Terre. So it's 
only ideal that a wine that comes from that area um, pairs so well with items from the sea. So I'm continuing to smell that waft coming out of the kitchen. And I'm going to go enjoy my meal, but I'm going to enjoy it with a gavi to gavi. And I ask that you come back next time, because soon you'll know wine in no time. Thank you.